Charot. Kulang na lang yung dala silang popcorn. Be like, ay, para suplado pala ito. Well, I didn't get corded. Hi, I'm Jessica with Michelle and Gia, and you're watching G-Talk. Will you marry me? The essence of a man is to take care of the woman he loves. <laughs> People are sure that I'm such a playboy. There is love attraction. Sir Gary, there's a show called G Talk and they. Yep! Talk. She's an actress, TV host, and comedian. She played Faye Cabisote, an Encantada princess, and Si Agimat at Si Anting Cabisote with Vic Sata. She was born in Australia to an Italian French dad and a Filipino Vietnamese mom. Please welcome the lovely Gwen Zamora. Woo! Yay! Hi! 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 We're so happy to have you on G-Talk. But we want to get to know you more through G-Talk's two-minute alphabet fast talk. That's right. We will mention words, phrases, or people, and you respond with the first thought that comes to mind. So no explanations necessary. You will have time to explain after the game. Until then, we girls will refrain from making any comments. So are you ready for the hot seat, Gwen? Yes, I think I'm ready. Okay, letter A, assumptions about you. Too kind. B. Most beautiful celebrity. Christine Hermosa. C. Funniest courtship. Well, what? I didn't get courted. D. A. Drama queen moment. I'm sure every girl has drama of queen course. moment. E. An embarrassing moment. A glue spray. F. Things that frighten you. My son getting hurt. G. Your go-to who got line or song. It's not a song, but I like saying char at the end of everything. Eight. How many hearts have you broken? Not that many. I, if you could have dinner with any celebrity, who would it be? Anne Hathaway. J, share something juicy about yourself. I'm adventurous. K, thoughts on karma. It exists. L, if your life were a movie, what would be the title? Happy Go Lucky. M, mommy problems. There's too many. N, a childhood nickname you didn't like. Piglet or Miss Piggy. Oh. <laughs> oh, the great outdoors. All for it. P. Funny psychic prediction about yourself. Wasn't it funny? It was actually true. She said I was going to have a boy and I wasn't with my husband yet. Q. A question you often ask yourself. Why? R. Showbiz rivalry. None. S. Awkward stage. Teens. T. Ghosting or breakup text. Ghosting. U. The most unusual. Fan request. None. V. The most vain thing that you do. Didn't care. W. How to handle wild basketball fans of your husband. Being open. X. X-Men power you would like to have. Being invisible. Y. Note to your 15-year-old self. Try to be smarter. Z. Best way to friend zone somebody. Ghost them. <laughs> so you said Ghosting or breakup text? You said ghosting. Why? It's just easier that way and you don't need to explain yourself. The childhood yeah. nickname that you didn't like? What was that again? Miss Piggy. Why? <laughs> that used to be really big. Yeah, no. I still am actually. I'm having a hard time losing the baby weight. I was bigger compared to my Filipino side and my Filipino cousins because they were also skinny. I was oh, just course. more... But because I'm half European, so I think that's why I'm going to I think you're three fourths European, probably one fourth Filipino, right? Yes, I'm one fourth. For the embarrassing yeah. moment in high school, because I took up art, I was fixing my portfolio and I was using a spray, a glue spray. And then I thought it was empty, so I went to go smell it and it just shot. <laughs> And it was, it felt like a movie, you know, with hair. My hair just went, stood up, and then I did a little scream, and everyone in the common room turned around and they saw me <laughs> with my hair on. I, not I noticed your uh, skin is ganda. What are your like favorite like skincare routine? I like I'm misting. Sure. That's like my number one. I have like different Ooh. types of mists for different types, uh, for different times of the day because the one before gym is more like a refreshing one and then after gym is more of a moisturizing one and then at night is like a relaxing one 
Do you even have makeup on right now? Because it no, doesn't I don't look- actually. I don't have makeup on because it's so Oh my hot. gosh. Your skin <laughs> looks so beautiful. It's kind of all. A natural glow. Yes. <laughs> that's that's natural beauty right there. No yes. makeup. It's so beautiful. Thank you. What else do you do to your skin? So during the day I mist and then at night I have toner, mist, serum. I have a serum for my face, I have a serum for my eyes, and then I use retinol, and then I use another cream for my eyes, and then I mist again, and then I put my face in front of the air con. What kind of mist is that? The two is Mario Badescu. I use the cucumber and aloe vera first thing in the morning. Mm-hmm. And then after gym, I use this Korean one, Esofio. It's like snail. And then at night, I use the lavender one from Mario Badescu. Let's talk about your drama queen moment. That I just have, there are certain ways that I like things. And I guess that makes me a drama queen. Okay, so if things are disorganized in your house, what happens? At first, I'll get a little irritated. But I'll, I'll keep calm and then I'll just hint. I'll give slow jabs, and then after, I'm like, ah, I don't like it this way. So I, I warm myself up to it, but and then when I can't take it anymore, I just say it. At least you give him a warning. <laughs> yeah, exactly. And then for share something juicy about yourself, I did not hear what you said. Oh, I'm adventurous. Ooh, I'm a good cook. What's your what favorite you thing to make? Um, pasta. It's the easiest, no, no, but um, I'm pretty adventurous when it comes to food. There, see, I was right, adventurous. <laughs> like, yes. I crave something, um, I'll look for a recipe and then I'll study it and then I'll make it and I'll tweak it to the way that I want it. You have an open air kitchen, I love it. Actually, going through renovations now, we're gonna paint it all white. What is that? It's like a vacation house, but you still live in the city. Yes, we still live in the city. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, it's just a, bring a weekend house that we built for us to go to. And we added new buildings and then we're adding a pool. And our end goal is to really move there. So we're going to be building another structure, which will be our proper house. Because the, mm-hmm. the cabin is more like vacation home. Right. Mm-hmm. And we were so happy that we built the cabin just in time before lockdown right. because we were living in a one bedroom condo in BGC. So imagine more if we were stuck there for eight months. But then along we had the cabin and Cooper got to really grow up in fresh air. Imagine him growing up mm-hmm. in a condo would have been really, really hard. Is it yeah. hard to transition to that kind of life? No, we like my husband and I actually really enjoy it. And even our son, the moment we get there or we're driving there, he just lights up and he starts pointing out the window saying, wow, wow. We enjoy it because it's a lot more laid back and a lot. the life is a lot slower and you really get to enjoy every moment. I feel like when I'm in Manila, I'm, I'm doing so much, but not. Who made the decision to have a farm there? Um, my husband, he actually bought the lot a year before we got together and it was his dream to do something with it and so when we got together, we built the, I drew, I actually drew the cabin on like a piece of paper, a bond paper, there was like stuff on like scrap paper, there was stuff behind it too, <laughs> with a ruler and a pen and then we just gave it to one of the pandais from our area and then they built it. Like. They followed um, every little thing that I put. So it was an empty lot. It was, it was, pretty, yeah, it was an empty lot. So wow. it's pretty amazing. No una, parang ginagawa kami show. Kasi no una wala pa kami ano a walls. We didn't have fences yet, so we just had the house. And then people would come like all in tricycles and motorbikes and just watch us. They wouldn't say a word. They would just park there and, and then just watch us because we wanted to prep the place before we bring Cooper. So and then alik- and then I was hosing the living room and making walis thing thing to make the water go. <laughs> and then they were just watching. So like, oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> if you're gonna sit there and we lose young popcorn. It's a live reality show. Yeah but not 
such a small town. Everyone knows each other. So we do, we feel oh. extra safe there. Did they know that you guys are celebrities? Yeah, so, yeah. They get a little because, like, parang, ah, they're doing housework. Because my husband and I are very hands on. We painted the whole place, he varnished the whole place. I painted some murals and stuff. So people are very allure to see us be so hands on. So I guess that's mm -hmm. why they would come and visit and then see what we would do and stuff. Because even <laughs> the lights, like, say, so put solar lights. My husband's the one who goes up on the roof and puts it on. And people just mm -hmm. get curious and allure and amazing <laughs> are these neighbors your friends now yes yes they oh, were okay. very very helpful when uh, during lockdown i mean they gave they they showed us the ropes of the bayan and all that right. like they're we call them nai and thai so they're they're close to man so. like our neighbor thai he doesn't know how to drive he doesn't know how to ride a bike mm -hmm. i don't think he's actually been to man wow that's really the simple life the wife Mm -hmm. yeah. yeah, and they're so happy though. These people yes. are just always yeah. smiling, always chilling. Like they do, they work hard. Mm -hmm. That I can see. They work hard, but they know how to like enjoy the fruits of their labor. People like enjoying every step of their lives. Like, but no stress at all. They say simplicity is the hardest thing to secure in life, but when we simplify our lives and our surroundings, we eliminate distraction and free ourselves. Um, so we love that you shared your journey to a simple life because it's really the ultimate achievement. That was so beautiful. You made it sound so nice. It is it's true. Rude. Well, we leave you with this quote by Steve Miraboli. The greatest step towards a life of simplicity is to learn to let go. Thanks for watching.